your fan pole has arrived. Now you'll be able to proudly fly the flag of your choice from the back of your rig. This video will show you how to properly set up your fan pole so that you get the best results. Now throw open that fan pole box, and this is what you should have. One dummy hitch, the lower fan pole half, and the upper fan pole half with decal sticker with two clamps and the finial already attached. One large hitch pin with clip, two small locking pins with clips. The hitch tightener assembly included two interconnecting steel members and the accompanying nut and bolt tightener, two spare pole clamps, one special security Allen wrench, and one flat wrench. Cross-check the included instructions with your box and make sure you have all the parts listed. Get started by putting together the hitch tightener. Insert the steel member in through the fitting slot of the other, like this. Next, thread the nut onto the bolt. Then turn the bolt in through the fitting hole of the tightener, like this, threaded only a few turns. With the dummy hitch in one hand, slide your hitch tightener over the opened end of it. Make sure that the dummy hitch is right side up. Now insert your dummy hitch into your vehicle's hitch receiver. Make sure the holes on your dummy hitch and your receiver align. To lock in your dummy hitch to the receiver, grab a hold of the hitch pin. Take the large pin and push it through the aligning holes of your hitch and receiver. Then take the clip and lock it against the pin just like this. As you can see, there's still wobble with the dummy hitch. Well, don't worry. This is why we have the hitch tightener. Push the hitch tightener up against the back end of the receiver and then hand tighten the bolt underneath, like this. To tighten it even further, use a 3 4 inch socket on a ratchet or the flat wrench from the box. Once fully tightened, your hitch will have no give. Now you have the secured base for your fan pole. Next, you'll notice the bottom pole half will have a hole in the bottom for a pin and clip, and at the top, a security screw, and another hole for the pin that will lock in the upper half of the fan pole. Now take the lower pole half, insert the bottom half of it into the base that you've assembled. Take the smaller locking pins from the box and insert it into the hole in the base to secure it. Hand tighten the security screw as much as you can. Then use your special Allen wrench to finish the job. This wrench has a special shape on its tip as you can see here. It allows you to tighten and loosen the security screws with it. Without this specific tip shape, no one can screw or unscrew these pieces. If you ever need to buy replacement security screws, these specific ones are T30 security bits, and the entire fan pole rig uses the same screws. At this point, grab a hold of what you've put together and give it a good push to make sure it's good and strong. What has been assembled shouldn't be able to be just pushed around, kinda like you. The next piece we'll deal with is the top of the pole. The top of the pole should have two clamps already attached to it, here and here. Insert the pole into the top of what you've assembled. Make sure the pole clamps have the flag side facing out. As you can see here on the clamps, one side is open and the other is closed. The closed side is to tighten the clamp on the pole. The open side is to hold the grommet of your flag. Use another one of the small locking pins to lock in this midsection. Make sure to tighten the security bit, first by hand, then with the special Allen wrench. Now let's install your flag. Insert the flag grommet into the open end of the top clamp. Insert a screw to tighten the grommet side of the clamp and tighten it with the special Allen wrench. Make sure you set her in solid in both the top and bottom clamps. Your flag's going to need to blow through some wild rides. Double check that you have a washer buffering each screw you put in. It is important to assemble the fan pole correctly to be able to drive at full speeds. Now your flag should be secured firmly in the fan pole. Slide the clamps until you've attached your flag to where it's taut. Now tighten the screws on the other side of each clamp. This will provide you enough tension to secure the clamps in place on the pole. Use your wrench to make sure all screws, clamps, and the finial on the flagpole rig are tight and secure. Loose screws and clamps will damage your fan pole when in use and cause other complications while driving. Now step back and crack open a cold one. Your vehicle is ready to drive hard with any flag of your choice.